So in this video, we're going to do another example of solving a trig equation by factoring. And here we're going to solve 2 sine x times cosine x equals cosine x. Uh, a very easy thing to do in this problem would be to divide both sides by cosine x, but that would actually um, be incorrect. You would end up losing some solutions. And kind of the, the way I always uh, maybe explain why it's not correct to divide both sides by cosine x Suppose instead you had like the equation x squared equals x. Okay, we're trying to find all solutions to this equation. Well, suppose you divided both sides by x. Well, you would be left with x on the left and 1 on the right. And certainly if you look at the original equation, 1 is a solution for sure. If you plug 1 in, 1 squared equals 1. So there's no problem with the solution you get. But there's other solutions as well. Notice if you plug in x equals 0, um, x equals 0 is definitely also a solution to this equation. And the way that you would get that is by making one side equal to 0. We can do that by subtracting x. And then you could factor the x out. And when you set each factor to 0, you would get both solutions. You would get x equals 0 as a solution, and x equals 1 uh, as another solution. So the moral of the story is uh, you have to be careful with equations. Uh, in general, you set equations equal to zero and then you factor them. Okay, so that's the exact same thing we're going to do here. So uh, just be careful about that. I think it's worth pointing out. So we've got two sine x times cosine x. I'm going to subtract the cosine x over to the left side. So we'll have zero on the right. Well. Uh, both terms have a cosine x, so I'm going to factor that out. So we would be left with 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. And now I'm just going to set each factor equal to 0. So we've got to figure out when cosine x equals 0. Then we'll set 2 sine x minus 1 equal to 0. Well, if we solve the second equation, uh, we can simply add 1 and divide by 2, and that would give us our sine x. And now I have to think, okay, again, uh, we were doing uh, finding solutions from 0 to 2 pi. So cosine of x is going to equal 0 uh, when x equals pi over 2, and when x also equals 3 pi over 2. Sine of x equals 1 half at the angle pi over 6 and also at the angle 5 pi over 6. And those again would now be all of our solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi.